and I'm here to present one yoga, the yogic moment. First of all, we thank this opportunity for the government of Australia and the multicultural department, multicultural office department for having the session. From the morning until now, I have been going through so many programs, so many outdoor activities. Your senses would have been engaged. So many lot of information you have gathered on the mind. Now let's have something, some session to get into the inner world. Okay. Tap up into the soul's energy. Drawing our senses to the inner world. And get this beautiful information of yoga. I'm going to engage you for 15 minutes on this session. Before I do so with a flow of talk and a small technique to be given for you at the end of the session. I would like you all humbly to be seated in the place. Whoever wants to stand, that's fine. To start with, let me introduce myself. People call me Yogi and I introduce myself as a Yogi as well. I live in the place of yogic nature, which means having the mind and the body and the soul to be balanced. So this art of living, art of taking the yogic techniques on me, from, started from the very end. So I attained the masters in yoga and then came up to, uh, we started an organization called Yoga Pedam, the very seat of yoga, Pedam means the seat, the very seat of yoga. Yoga is not just the postures or the exercises, it's a part of it. Yoga is not just the meditation, it's a part of it. Yoga is not just cleansing of the senses and diet and herbals and things, that is also part of it. So what is yoga? Yoga is living in present with a complete awareness and having the awakened state of intellectuality. So before we attain that state of intellectual, we accept the nature humbly. So this is a bit of introduction of yoga. If you go and Google it or find it in dictionaries, you can find it's like a union, it's like you know self and body and uh, it's connection with the soul and connection with the divine. But that's all heightened state. How do we achieve that state? How do we travel to that state? How do we balance ourselves in the mind? How do we balance in the body? And that's where it has the eight chambers in yoga. Yama, Niyama, Pranayama, Pratyagara and so and so. It's a different language actually. Yoga born in India. It's an Eastern way of culture. But now yoga is growing in the West. So I'm here. So many Westerners are taking living into yoga. So we are introducing ourselves in Queensland. It's been already been introduced in Victoria and so many talks was going on there. So yoga for the first time in Marichito. We are establishing a yoga freedom and we are having a small yoga hut where we do all the exercises and synchronization of the breath, pranayama and so many techniques. So to achieve the state, some way we have to start. So let's have this moment to start yoga on you. Okay. Yoga is something to be union within yourself. So what we do in yoga? And what is a yogic step? We don't want to take all these complicated words and have some 50 gram, 100 gram of information on our brain storing there, but we couldn't approach practically in life. So what was my experience of being living as a yogi for those many years? It's beautiful experiences, having the mind in the present state, in the present moment, 100%, 100% accepting the nature within and out. So how do we accept? We can't be all 100, 365 days and all 24 hours be blissful. Happy or sad, good or bad. It's all a state of mind. Do you agree? Yes, it's a state of mind. But
but mere acceptance comes within. And that beautiful moment happens. Your state of mind is blissful. That's the journey of life. To attain this blissful state, to realize our own self, who we are, we have a desire to born as a human on this earth planet. And we born as a human on this earth with a desire. But after we jumped into the earth, we finally found there is a small machine inside us. And that machine is called mind. We don't know how to handle it. We couldn't know to tame it. Sometimes we are shifting the energy up or down. Sometimes we go very downward moment and we lose the human state of level. We go up into the level and it's a higher than this life, but we couldn't balance ourselves. So yoga is nothing but balancing you in and out. So to start with, we just doesn't want to have this theoretical knowledge of talking and presentation. It's better to have something practical. So let's get into mind. What is that mind? To teach you yoga, what I have learned on those wonderful years of life, this 15 minutes is not enough for me, sorry. But I can give you a small technique before you go. It's a gift of nature, which has given to me, gifted by nature, and I'm sharing it with you with love, with no expectations. So that's what we call, with no expectations, and life is first step, that we call as the yogic state. With no expectations, either in family, relationship, friendship. Here, mate, I'm having, I'm sharing with you. I'm having, I'm, I want to give. What do you want to give? The love, the great nature of love, the peace in you, the happiness in you. So how do we share that? Yoga. So what is yogic mind? There is a small story which I would like to share with you all. This story is a beautiful little story where I deliver to many of the spiritual satsang. Satsang means to open up the truth. There was a poor man and a very rich man, okay? Rich man on wealth and poor man is rich in mind. The poor man is a very practitioner of yoga, meditation, all, everything. But materially, he was very poor. He had all he had is just one dollar, okay? He was so hungry, the thirst was there on the body. And he just walked up to the market. There he found, the way, very end of the market, there is no uh, start of the market to the end of the market, he couldn't find anything to buy for one dollar. He came up to the very end of the market and he found himself standing there staring at a one person. He was in his very rich and wealthy clothes on. And that man was having just a small lamp. You know the oil lamp on those days? The very ancient one. So uh, he approached that man and he said, Look, I have just one dollar, but I couldn't get any. Okay. I am in a state now, I have a desire. Suddenly, desire started on me. I was a yogi, but the desire started on me. And to fulfill the desire, this one dollar is not enough. I'm very hungry. I want to get some food. So suddenly, the rich man said, I can fulfill all your desires within no time. But all you have to do is, you have to grab this lamp from me and you have to light, light the lamp. Okay? Once you light the lamp, remember, once you light the lamp, there will be a genie coming out of it. Okay? And will be asking you, Master, what shall I do for you? Okay? You have to do the work. Then this man said, Okay, what the genie will do? It will do everything, fulfill all your desires, whatever it is materialistic, within no time. So the poor man said, well, I'll grab the lamp from you. And he said, it's a bit of help for me. I couldn't handle this lamp. And that's why I'm here. I give the lamp to you and get you one dollar. This one dollar is more than enough for me. So they shared the love and of gifts and they just walked away. The poor man came, he was terribly hungry, he came to the hut, he turned the light on the lamp 
And the genie came. Master, what shall I do for you? Immediately the man said, Get me a beautiful feast, the feast from the palace. It should be stunning. An extraordinary taste. Genie gave everything within seconds. He was about to grab a mouthful of food. Then he found out. The genie said, Come on, Master, give me next job. He said, Oh my God, I couldn't enjoy my food, which has been on the plate. Now you all and a sudden you're asking me to next job. Then he remembered what the rich man said. Suddenly he said, Okay, now take a next job. There is a very big acreage, buy the acreage and build a beautiful palace. And that was done on no time. He said the food has to be on to the dining table over there, but it should be very hot. And that was happening as well. Then the genie asked for next job. He said, come on now, take me around the palace and show me what are the rooms in there. And the genie went around, explained the room by room, this bedroom, that room, this room. And where is my feast? The feast is in the dining table, master. Yeah, it's there. Now humbly, the poor man came out. And he stood there. Outside the palace, he saw a very big pole lying somewhere, full of a, a very old tree, maybe 100 or 200 years old. So he asked, go and grab the pole and make it erect in front of the palace. And he did like, you know, then probably uh, Jini came, what is next master? He said, you know what? Climb down, like from here, you climb up to the top. Once you reach the top, you come down, okay? Once you come down, reach high. Once you reach high, come down, that's your job. Until I give the next job, you do that. Jini went, started climbing up, coming down. After a few climbs, our oh master, the poor man, came inside, had the beautiful feast, enjoyed the palace, slept well, enjoyed all the rooms visiting. And he came out and saw like that. This beautiful genie was sleeping near the pool. What is doing? Sleeping near the pool. He said, I am the happiest man in the world. I know how to handle the genie. And at the same time, when the desires come to fulfill their genie and to give to me. So he was very happy and pleasurable. So out of the story, what we learn? This poor man is rich in the mind. So he can handle anything, any circumstances, any situations, irrespective of age, irrespective of materialistic things, irrespective of anything. So where did he achieve? From yoga. The selflessness. Okay, so what we do now, this man walked up and he was so happy. What we say in the story is, the mind is nothing but gene. If we have a right way to handle it with the techniques on, we are richer and merrier in the world. So to do that and to be richness in the mind, we would like to go for a small technique on meditation. Are we all ready? Are we ready? A few minutes of meditation. We are going with the sound, just tapping up our source energy and coming back. So that hole in the story is nothing but the own sound, the mantra we give, the syllable of vibration which is you hear from the sun and that very sound exists in all the souls of individuals. So what we do is like take the breath in, inhale the breath in, hold it in the tummy and then pronounce the sound called uh,
patients comfortably. Relax your shoulders and arms and legs. Sit erect as much as possible, straight on your head. Now simply visualize the breath in. Withdraw all the senses. Now we have closed our eyes. And tapping our energy inside. The source within. Silently we are getting into the space. From this blissful state, we are taking the very mind to relax the whole body and mind. Take the very mind to your toes and feet. Relax it. Take the mind to the legs and knees and relax yourself. And take the very mind to the thigh regions. Relax yourself, the whole legs right and the left. It's relaxed. And it's complete. Now take the mind and have your focus and energy towards the abdomen or the tummy. Relax the tummy muscles. And take your very mind into the heart. Heart center. Open up the heart with so much love and care. Give the love to the people. We are humans here to share the love and peace. Now take your mind to the very center throat of the throat region where the communication happens. Always talk good, righteous words. Now take the very mind to the head part. Before you go to the complete circumference of the head. Now take your mind to the left and the right hand where it does beautiful actions. Thank the hands. Now take the mind to the mouth where you speak gently and softly with love and nature. And take the great mind to the ears, hear always good. And see always good through the eyes. And smell the good. And with all the positiveness of the positive nature, now take the mind to the head. Now we are away from the body, out of the body, initializing the whole hall. We are in the multicultural affairs in your expo. We are entering into the body very blissfully. We are balanced. And relax the whole body now. Let the worries, thoughts and feelings let it come and go, just be as a witness. Thank this great woman for your humble nature that has given us here for this great moment to share within us the great knowledge of yoga. With this blissful thing, we are gently going to open up the eyes and the meditation is about to complete and just pronounce the sound Aum. Oh. Beautiful. Thank you all for this great session and it's uh, been a happiest moment. Okay, so we just have one more performance.